Hello, and welcome to, or welcome back to, I mean, it's Operator Status, welcome back to Operator Status, but today we try out the extra hard version of Operator Status, and my god, I don't know what to expect, I don't know how torturous it's going to be, I don't think I'm going to have a good time. But we'll give it a shot. So let's try this out. Wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, credits are there. Let me just check. Oh, yeah, they are actually different. The credits. Can I still do... Hold on. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. In the extra hard version, he didn't make it so that you can't control the ball. That's probably just an oversight, I would imagine. Hold on, can I, like... No, I, there's no way I can get back up here, right? M maybe. I guess this is a good way to practice. Like, I need to figure out these fucking controls if I'm going to have any hope of beating this stuff. Yeah, I'm sure you can get up there, but... Oh, well. Let's ignore that. So, do I have access to... Was it M and S? And then I hold X? No. Uh... What was it again? I thought it was M and S. Maybe it's different in this game or something? You know what, I'm gonna check that really quick just to make sure. Yep, it was M and S, so that does not work. At least not here, maybe it works when we're in the game, but I kind of doubt it. But yeah. Credits are just the same, just a different tint. Everything is red instead of blue in this version. And you could, for some reason, move in the credits. But all right, let's jump jump into it. You play the role of that purple ball to control I sure do. Okay, MNS, X, no. The code, if it even exists in this version, it's different, so... I'm not gonna test every single possible combination of two, uh, two keys, so let's just ignore that. Oh. You actually can skip that old shift prompt if you just go right away, but oh well. I guess you have to wait for some of this. You will find many items and power-ups in this game. However, when you grab an item, you must get back to a warp spot quickly. If you die before you reach, oh, that was nice. A couple nice bounces. The warp spot doesn't save your game, though. If you want to save your game, just make it back to the beginning of each level and jump into the save area. The save areas not only save your game, they also warp you back and forth between levels of the game. Alright, so so far the tutorial is exactly the same. What? No control enemy, no shift enemy. Oh no. So it's like, when they're on the screen you can't use those buttons or something? Uh oh. Alright, let's see what that's like. I'm just gonna save again here. Yeah? Also, wait. Don't I want to just, like, go right away and pick up the magnets? Would that be worth it? Or do I. Maybe it's a better idea to get the control key before you do that? I'm gonna test that. Just go into packet router right away. So. The, uh, like, geometry and all that seems to be the same, but we'll see about everything. Maybe there are some changes here and there. And there's probably just gonna be, like, way more enemies. Uh-oh. Yeah, okay, this is different. I see. And, of course, you can't just hold right. It's not that simple. Oh, so, yeah, wait. Isn't that a... Okay! I don't have control, I don't have the control key, 
but you can't even press the control key when there's a green enemy, and you can't press shift when there's a red enemy, or you just instantly die. Okay, now I know how that works. Oh boy. Oh, hmm. How did I not get enough height there? There we go. And yeah, no save point here. I really hope that's not gonna be like a theme where the entire game is just like less save points. Oh, of course, of course I can't do that. That should have been obvious. Because I mean, sure, difficulty increase, that's fine, but having it so that you waste more time every time you fail, that's just not fun. I hope... what? Oh, that's that bug again. I really hope that's not, like, a general theme here. What is happening? Why is this thing, like, not shooting me up sometimes? Yeah, I don't really get it. That's weird. Alright, so no control key, so just go down, like, here. Uh-oh. Damn it. So, I guess going here first doesn't actually matter. Like, you can go and get the control key if you want, but since you can't use the control key here anyway, it doesn't matter. I need to do this eventually anyway. Oh my god. So, even if I do manage to do oh my god, to do all of these uh, challenges extra hard, the episodes might end up being quite short, because I'm assuming if I have to, like, keep trying a challenge over and over and over, I'll probably cut out a lot of it, and that's gonna make it hard to, like, time videos and stuff, so yeah, keep that in mind. Might be very short. Alright, so there's that. Oh, I see! You have to, like, intentionally go into this Ah, oh, man, yeah, you have to, like, go into that little indentation to stop yourself bouncing up. Doesn't actually seem like the shift key affects you on these at all, yeah? Oh, man. If only I had the control key. But maybe I just want to, like, go for it instead? Just drop down and then hold left and... Sure, I'll probably bounce up again, but maybe I can, like... I don't know. I kind of want to test that. Okay, I'm gonna regret this, but let's give it a shot. Yeah, there we go. That actually is an easier way to do it, even though the other way is clearly what you're intended to do. And now I still need a, a checkpoint, which is a problem. I really wish he would give me a checkpoint, but I don't think he's going to. Nope. Oh, no. Okay. Fun. Oh my god! I guess I want to just, like, lure them somewhere? Can I even do that? I don't know if I can do that. See, like, yeah, as I said, this is what I don't enjoy. Now I just have to waste my time again. If it's overcoming just a challenge, that's fine, but when it's a challenge of challenges, just a series of things to do that are all individually fine, but you just have to do like 10 of them in a row without dying. That's just not fun to me, so... Uh, we'll see how much I can take this, but let's keep at it for now. Oh, come on, what? Oh my god, that was close. Okay, yeah, that's the problem. If I don't 
land right away, or not land, if I don't go through the hole right away, then I'm fucked. So maybe I should try and learn the, uh, the right side instead. Oh, man. Nope. I, d I can't hold just right, so I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. Like, how can you know how much you should hold right before you let go? That's the thing, like, I know he's claimed that this game is pure skill. 100% skill. There's nothing, like, random about it. And sure, it's not random, but it certainly is trial and error, and I would not really consider that skill in that sense. There's no way you can know what you have to do here. You just have to, like, test it many times until you just get the perfect amount of key pressing to do the thing he asks you to do. So that's not my cup of tea, really. Alright, and now, what do I do here? I can't really go left, and I can't go right either. What the fuck do I do? I'm dead. Oh god. I don't know how to get past this. I don't have any ideas. I had an idea! Oh my god. Okay. Okay. But now the problem is, I need to get out, and then I need to get across the fucking giant gap without dying, and I'm going to die. I know I will die. There's no way I won't die. Oh boy. There. Oh, I don't look forward to this. Why could you not just give me a fucking checkpoint here? No! So close. The last fucking thing. Oh my god. I'm not gonna do anything in this episode. Wait, can't I just... hold on? Is this... oh no, I can't. Damn. I was gonna say, just go into the secret right now, and then... There you go. But I can't do that, because I need, uh... I need gravity to be different. That would have been really convenient. If that just had a checkpoint in it. I could have just, like, checkpointed and then left the zone. Shit, I actually saw that coming. That was my bad. I should have curved it a little bit more before I magneted. Sometimes I feel like you hit just flat ground and you just bounce in a weird direction. And I don't feel like that's skill, really. Apparently, you can just hold right, sometimes. Okay, there. That's kind of the easy part. Okay, good, good. That's one step. Oh boy. I don't really remember the positions, so I don't think I can just do this, but... Oh my god, that was terrible. Yeah, that's good. Just holding right. Good. Okay, that's fucking Christ. Damn it. That part is actually kind of consistent. I just have to get more consistent on everything else here. Okay.
Here we go again. No, I hesitated. Fuck. I mean, last time I didn't hesitate and then I went over it. Oh, man, you just need, like, exactly the right amount. It's kind of insane. And yeah, having the control key at this point wouldn't actually help me at all. So it's not like I should do this later on. Okay. Fuck. Oh my god. Save it. Okay. Take two. Take fuck. You know what? I should do- Well, I'm stuck now. I should just practice for a second. Just practice from here. Because I kind of have the part down there down. And it takes a long time to get back here to, like, practice again. So I should just do that. And then just, like, go back. And practice one more time. Get not that much power. You don't hold left that much. But you don't, like, hold right either. Which I did at one point. Where I just, uh... I got panicked. Okay, one more time. So not too much. Not too much. That's kind of okay, but I'm not, like, confident I'll be able to get it, but let's try it out. Okay, let's see, can I do the bug part? Yes, I can. All right, and now the fruits of my labor, let's try. There we fucking go. Okay, that was a good idea, like, actually just practicing that before I went back and did it again. Okay, so even if I die now, we have Magnet, it's done, I just need to save. There we go, Magnet is unlocked. Holy crap, um, I mean, it's gonna be so fucking short if I end it off here, so I guess we'll take a little- oh my god! A little quick look in here, but I'm gonna say half an hour of recording is all I'll do per episode here, because it doesn't matter how long it'll- what the fuck? How? Wait, why is there a key there? Key. What does key mean? I'm confused. Oh! Wait, is it something like, the key is being on right here? It's like, if you're right here, and then I bounce, and then just hold right, or something? Then you get through! Oh my god, that's fucking genius! That's actually really cool! What a good little hint! But yeah, half an hour, regardless of editing, it'll have to do. Oh my god. But I, I like that. Things like this is really cool. Just having a little hints. Nice. Uh, let's see. Can I go up here? Oh boy. You can't go above, can you? You can. I think that's probably safer. Just like that. Sheep doesn't look different, but maybe if you touch down anywhere, it'll get you. Here's a checkpoint. That... Was this checkpoint in here? In the, uh, normal version? Let's just try out the, sh the sheep here. Eh, sheep is just normal, okay. 
Oh, this has changed. And is the control key? Oh, the control key is not down there. Right, that's one more screen. Huh. So... Do I want to do, like... One bounce, and then... Well, that wasn't what I intended, but... Yeah, I can't get up there. Okay, hold on. Like, one big bounce, and then you hold... Or maybe just from here? Just hold right. Yeah, hold, just hold right. Okay, and now we drop down. And there we go, and don't die here. Now I have the control key, that's nice. That was a lot easier than... Oh my god, how? Um... A lot easier than the magnet, I wanted to say. But is it, though? Damn, I was, like, trying a thing. I, I thought I could, like, bounce in the ceiling and then end up over there and bounce up. But I think you have to do that, but that's really challenging. So, uh, never mind that whole thing about it being easy. Whoops. Okay, I'm fine. Wait, I can't just get up there, can I? I don't think I can. So I assume I have to go... Shit. Up there? Damn. How do I get, like, the right bounce? Oh, man. Damn, no, I, I get it. I think I get it, but I don't know how to do it. Once again, the, like, perfect amount of pressing the arrow keys. That is kind of pure trial and error. It's also, like, depending on what your previous bounces were like. Ooh, there we go. Okay, good. That, I didn't even intend for any of that to happen, but that worked out. And that's fine. And now we just go over here. And bounce across, and make sure to save this. Alright, I mean, I'm making progress. Okay, so there we go. I, I think I might just leave it there. It's not quite 30 minutes, but this is a good time to end it. I got magnets after a long time, and I got the control key. So we have the means. We have the tools now. It's not terrible. I don't like the fact that the checkpoints are more sparse, but we'll see how that turns out to be. But... The challenge so far, in and of itself, is, is pretty fun and actually, like, changes up the game quite a lot, even though it's the same maps, essentially. So, we'll see where it goes, we'll see how long I can stick with it. Hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!